This is Fire Pong, also known as Rule Zero, <laughs> which is a project that we made for EMF Camp 2016. <laughs> and the basic idea is it's like a game of Pong, a one-dimensional game of Pong, um, but with fire rather than pixels. Rule zero of a hack space is do not be on fire. And that basically means uh, look after your own safety and look after the safety of other people around you. Rule zero of the game has an asterisk next to it, which basically says more of a guideline. Each of the players has one of these bats. You have to get the timing quite right in order to bounce the flame back to the other end. And if you don't get the timing right, then the big puffer goes off. First one to three. So first player is randomized. Oh! After the first player, it alternates. Oh no! <laughs> Golden touch. Oh no, you won. I won the match by getting first person to three points. And as a reward, I get a victory swipe, which means I can waft my bat and then lots of fire happens. That is the most fun bit. In the bats are Wiimotes, um, which we can, they're just unceremoniously taped in. So as you, as you swing the bat, the Wiimote sends a signal to Raspberry Pi that's in a little control box, which is currently in the greenhouse at the moment. This is the main control box, which has the Pi in it. It has a 12 volt power supply, which runs everything. Um, and it has some RS-485 serial controllers um, and a bunch of relays and stuff. All of this goes out through these connectors to various other parts of the system. And they're all controlled using Arduinos. So we've got a whole bunch of Arduino Pro Minis, quite a few of which died in the making of this project. <laughs> and they receive serial data from the Raspberry Pi and convert it into some sort of events that they're supposed to do. So we have a display event which can make things appear on the display panel. So this is a matrix display which was made by another Hackspace member, um, a little, and it just receives an RS-485 um, packet in a proprietary protocol that I wrote and displays some text. So the Pi controls the kind of high level stuff and then all the individual devices actually do the sort of turning on and off of solenoids and sparks and things like that. In one of these little control boxes you can see a Arduino Pro Mini there and it's connected to this solenoid control board. That's the RS-485 level converter and the um, Arduino just turns on and off these solenoids which will in turn make sort of sparks happen and gas come out. One of the things we had to uh, work out how to do was how to uh, light the gas. So we, we experimented with things like uh, barbecue lighters, but they weren't really that effective. And I came across these things, £1.64 from eBay. And you put five volts in, and you get a few thousand volts out. And then another challenge we had was how to design a spark gap. We knew we needed some insulators. So we've got a couple of um, ceramic tubes from Fuses with uh, screws in the ends and a machined aluminium block which just mounts to the right position. Well, there was a bit of discussion about what would happen when you won, wasn't there? So that was when the victory swipe came, wasn't it, Sue? To, to, That's right, to, yeah. to, to encourage people to want, to want to win and to have that extra go and make more fire when you win. Yeah, yeah. initially it was just kind of, if you lost then there was a big puff. Um, but yeah, we realised that would be an incentive to just miss, so you got more fire. Um, so the victory swipe was a kind of... Uh, an incentive to actually try to win the game and it really worked I mean people yeah people really yeah. enjoyed the victory swipe I think <laughs> the other two canisters are actually uh, butane cylinders uh, which were discarded and um, they act kind of like a um, gas capacitor they're called accumulators and they store gas close to where it comes out so that it can come out quickly 